Good evening. On behalf of Notre Dame High School, I am delighted to welcome you. Parents, guardians, family members, and students to our second and hopefully last virtual academic awards evening. Tonight, we honor and recognize our best, those young women who have achieved academic excellence in their studies. St. Julie Billiard, foundress of the Sisters of Notre Dame de Namur, described the education of young women in her schools as, quote, the most important work that can be done on earth. As a school founded and sponsored by the Sisters of Notre Dame de Namur, we take St. Julie's words very seriously. Each day, even as we navigated the challenges of COVID, we were reminded that we are doing the most important work that can be done on earth. And we are grateful for the legacy entrusted to us by St. Julie and her sisters. For our seniors, this is your last awards evening at NDB, but we have a hunch that this will not be your last opportunity to receive awards for your academic achievements. We begin tonight the joyous task of honoring you and also begin the task of saying goodbye and sending you on your way. We are confident that you leave NDB as young women of compassion and integrity, women of intellectual strength and courage, women who will make a difference and be confident leaders. As God continues to bless each one of you with grace and wisdom, know that we bless you with our love and our support. We are all so proud of you. Juniors, sophomores, and freshmen, the academic awards that you will receive this evening demonstrate your mastery in specific departmental curriculum in which you have been involved during the past year. You have excelled because you have consistently worked hard and have brought your very best effort to your academic subjects. And so we begin tonight with our school prayer written by four students from the class of 2012. And if it is your tradition, please feel free to begin in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Good and gracious God, just as the sunflower turns toward the sun, transform our hearts to be dedicated to you. Empower us to become a community of faith, service, and leadership, confident that we can inspire unity. Encourage us to be lifelong learners, mirroring the example of Saint Julie. Joined with the tradition of Notre Dame, may we embody the goodness of God each and every day. Saint Julie, pray for us. And now, I have the great pleasure to introduce Mr. Jason Levine, our phenomenal interim academic dean. Take it away, Mr. Levine. Notre Dame Department Awards recognize student effort and achievement in each subject area. Each department selects only one or two students per grade or course level to be awarded. Thus, the young ladies who receive these awards are those who practice lifelong learning. Through their contributions in the classroom, they demonstrate their desire to not just learn for the sake of a grade. These students receiving department awards have demonstrated their enthusiasm for and commitment to the specific subject in an effort to push their own understanding and that of their teachers and colleagues. Students who have earned department awards have the unanimous vote and support of each department member. It is now my pleasure to call on our department chairs who will announce the awards in each of the courses in their respective departments. Representing the English department, Mr. Robert Rojas. Good evening. 
It has been a privilege to serve as the English Department Chair this year and to have the honor of reading the names of the intelligent and talented young women who have been nominated by their teachers because of their exceptional achievements this year. Congratulations to all of our freshmen, sophomores, and juniors who are receiving awards this evening, and a special congratulations to our graduating senior award recipients. The English department wishes to recognize the strengths of students who, though necessarily strong in all aspects of English, have shown real growth and talent in one of three skills in the discipline. These students must not only shine in their area, but have participated in class with consistent dedication to their subject and to their peers. The areas honored here are writing, which honors the student's linguistic skill over a range of different styles, and literary analysis, which honors those students with exceptional ability in deconstructing an argument and empathy, both in literature and in nonfiction. I would like now to present the awards, beginning with English One. The English One Award for Writing goes to freshman Gianna Dixon. And the award for Literary Analysis goes to Kaylee Ellerhorst. The English One Honors Award for Writing goes to Katie Homrig. And the award for Literary Analysis goes to Izzy Sukri. The English Two Award for Writing goes to sophomore Suhani Patel, and the award for Literary Analysis goes to Coco Meerkamp. The English Two Honors Award for Writing goes to Salma Galal, and the award for Literary Analysis goes to Jenna Klein. The English Three Award for Writing goes to junior Sarah Masudi, and the award for Literary Analysis goes to Nika Ahani. The AP English Language Award for Writing goes to Emma Trainer, And the award for Literary Analysis goes to Sage Saperstein. The English Four Award for Writing goes to Senior Sachi Bopardikar. And the award for Literary Analysis goes to Lizzie Weishar. The AP English Literature Award for Writing goes to Rachel Schoenfeld. And the award for literary analysis goes to Lucy Nash. The English department has three elective classes, creative writing, journalism, and yearbook. The outstanding achievement award for creative writing goes to Annika Kim. The outstanding achievement award for yearbook goes to its editors who produced the school's award-winning yearbook, The Torch. Faith Connery, Chloe Eisendell, Kira Green, Nicole Miller, Kristen Refuso, and Katie Spencer. The Outstanding Achievement Award for Journalism goes to its editors, who produced the school's award-winning school newspaper, The Catalyst. They are also being recognized by the Journalism Education Association of Northern California, with an honor cord for serving in the leadership position over the past three years. The awards and cords go to sports editor Caitlin Lopez, arts and life editor Victoria Bartels, news editor Paige Clark, and editor-in-chief of The Catalyst, Amelia Kyle. The Journalism Education Association of Northern California recently announced its 2021 annual contest results. In the category of profile feature story, an honorable mention award goes to Amelia Kyle. In the category of Newspaper Spread Design, an Honorable Mention Award goes to the Catalyst Editorial Staff. The JEANC also honors the senior editors of both the Catalyst Newspaper and the Torch Yearbook with an honor cord for serving as leaders in their respective publications editorial staffs. The National Council of Teachers of English recognizes some of the best high school students across the country for their writing. This year's recipient is junior Sofia Caballero. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rojas. And now, 
representing mathematics, Mrs. Jenny Walton. Good evening. It's an honor to be presenting the Mathematics Awards tonight on behalf of the Math Department. As we all know, this year has been exceedingly difficult. I'm not one for believing in giving everyone an award, but this year I would like to give everyone an award for working so hard each and every day, learning, collaborating, helping, encouraging, and inspiring one another. Tonight, we celebrate the extraordinary students who have shown outstanding accomplishments in their mathematics courses. They have exemplified the ability to think logically, to problem solve, to question, to motivate others, and to communicate in the classroom, be it virtual or real. Galileo Galilei once said, mathematics is the language in which God has written the universe. We here at Notre Dame seek to make math a rewarding experience for all students, giving them the ability to reach for the stars. The following young women have displayed tremendous success in their daily coursework, class discussions, examinations, projects, and just by being outstanding classmates to one another. I'm honored to present the following awards for academic excellence. Algebra 1, Julia Breckenridge. Geometry, Alyssa Komodo, Isabella Sucre. Geometry Honors, Katherine Homrig. Algebra 2, Erin Wallace, Mary Courtney Templeton, Morgan Stein. Algebra 2 Honors, Mallory Moore. Precalculus, Carla Aguilar, Kayla George. Precalculus Honors, Peyton Daly, Ariel Lucas. Statistics, Emily Fletcher, Amelia Kyle. Calculus, Isabella Alignton, Ellie Weixner. AP Calculus AB, Kiki Vivian Ruan. AP Computer Science Principals, Annette Henderson. Computer Science 1, Sarah Masaudi. AP Statistics, Olivia Para. The next awards are for the American Mathematics Competitions, or AMC 1012, which seeks to spur interest in mathematics and provide an opportunity for high school students to develop their analytical thinking skills. And we would also like to recognize a top scoring student for the California Mathematics League contests. Congratulations to the following students. For the AMC 12, Peyton Daly, Arya Tumaluri, Enki Angel Zhao. For AMC 12, Ella Chatterjee, Genevieve Klein, Gabrielle Wiley Cheney. And for the California Mathematics League, Grace Baldwin. For the past few years, a select few Notre Dame students have participated in a national year-long mathematics contest sponsored by the Actuarial Foundation of America. The Modeling the Future contest requires students to find and analyze large amounts of data, report on their findings, and suggest recommendations for advancement. Making the finals this year with their project analyzing the relationship between unemployment and COVID-19 cases in the Bay Area, please congratulate Razan Asma, Kaylee Murad, Maggie O'Brien, Sophia Schnabel, and Elizabeth Weishaw, also known as NDB's Irrational Five. Great work, and I look forward to seeing your accomplishments in the future. And now, Representing Kinesiology, Mrs. Christina Okubo. The Department of Kinesiology 
is honored to introduce the discipline of kinesiology to the students of Notre Dame High School. Kinesiology is an academic discipline which involves the study of physical activity and sport and its impact on health, society, and quality of life. It is the goal of the kinesiology department to encourage the study of human movement as it relates to not only exercise and sport performance, but also for establishing appreciation for health and wellness for life. The Department of Kinesiology is dedicated to the development of future leaders in professions that maximize the potential of individuals and society through physical activity, exercise, and sport. It is with tremendous pride that we honor Carmela Zumat for exemplifying academic excellence, exceptional effort, and true passion in her study of sports medicine. Congratulations, Carmela. Thank you, Mrs. Akubo. And now, representing science, Dr. Elizabeth Hegarty. In the science department, our main goals are to inspire our students, ignite their curiosity, and encourage them to explore our world. We know they will make a difference. To the students we are here to honor today, I use the words of renowned scientist, Dr. Mae Jemison. Don't let anyone rob you of your imagination, your creativity, or your curiosity. It's your place in the world, your life. Go on and do with it all that you can. Make it the life you want to live. On behalf of the science department, I'm delighted to honor the following students for their creativity and curiosity. Physics 910, outstanding achievement awards go to Isabella Sucre, Andalaria Delabate. Biology, Charlotte Sullivan is honored with the Outstanding Achievement Award. Honors Biology, Christy Shaw, Outstanding Achievement. Living Biochemistry, Outstanding Achievement, Kenya Albin. Outstanding Achievement in Chemistry, Sarah Masudi and in Honours Chemistry, Ariel Lucas. Outstanding Achievement in Environmental Science, Erna Suzuki. And in Forensic Science, Ailish Reed. AP Biology honours Olivia Perra with the Outstanding Achievement Award. AP Physics One, Brinda Ramanathan. The AP Chemistry Department Award goes to Natalie Cross. Congratulations, students. External awards come from the University of Rochester and Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. The University of Rochester is pleased to sponsor a number of prestigious awards, which recognize high school juniors' outstanding achievements in science and math. Nominees will have their application fee waived and will be eligible for merit scholarships worth at least $10,000 per year upon attending the University of Rochester. We are pleased to recognize the following student as the recipient of the Bausch & Long Honorary Science Award, Nithya Mani. The certificate will be mailed to Nithya directly from the University of Rochester when school resumes in the fall. Congratulations, Nithya. Founded in 1824, Rensselaer is the oldest technological institute in North America. It is located in the capital region of New York State. This prestigious award has been given since 1916 to one student in any given high school and is designed to recognize that student's strength and success in the fields of mathematics and science. Medalists who apply are admitted to and enrolled at Rensselaer are awarded a scholarship worth $30,000 per year. It gives me great pleasure to announce the recipient of this year's medal is Brooke Corbett. Congratulations, Brooke. RPI will mail the certificate and medal to you in the fall and they look forward to welcoming your application. Thank you, Dr. Hegarty. 
And now, representing social science, Mr. Jonathan Tomzak. Uh, in the social sciences department, we work to develop critical thinkers who are active participants in both their local and global communities. One way in which we do this is by trying to introduce students to social justice lenses and the relevant study of history for social change. Now more than ever, it is important to have intelligent, passionate, strong women of character who can make the changes the world so desperately needs. The Social Science Department offers two awards to each grade level, Outstanding Achievement and a Department Award. Outstanding Achievement is awarded to the student who not only best exemplifies their work in the classroom, but also demonstrates a rich interest and passion for the subject of history and social change. The Department Award is given to the student who demonstrates an exemplary effort, a rich appreciation for the fields of social sciences, and dedication to being an impactful citizen in both their local and global communities. Tonight, I'm honored to introduce eight young women who have achieved these efforts. For outstanding achievement in AP Human Geography, Sabrina Phillip. The Department Award for Modern World History at the sophomore level, Ms. Ella Ebert. For outstanding achievement in Modern World History honors at the sophomore level, Genevieve Klein. The Department Award for U.S. History, Sage Saperstein. For outstanding achievement in AP U.S. History at the junior level, Olivia Semyon. For outstanding achievement in AP U.S. Government, Ms. Paige Clark. For outstanding achievement in the subject of economics, Ms. Alyssa Enriquez. And the Department Award for U.S. Government at the senior level, Maya Hart. Congratulations, all of you. One of Notre Dame's best kept secrets is our highly competitive mock trial team, who work throughout the year to put on and simulate an actual court case competing against other schools in the county. Each year, based on their performances, the county compiles and votes on students who deserve individual accolades for their performance throughout the season. And for the second year in a row, one of those awards went to a Notre Dame Tiger. Congratulations to Lucy Wood, for winning Outstanding Pre-Trial Attorney at the Junior Varsity level. Congratulations, Lucy. Thank you, Mr. Tomzak. Spiritual Life Awards are represented by the Director of Mission and Ministry, Amy Jobin. Good evening, everyone. It has been a pleasure to serve in Mission and Ministry at NDB this year. St. Julie Billiard, foundress of the Sisters of Notre Dame de Namur, love to proclaim, oh, how good is the good God. In the spiritual life department, students reflect upon their personal sense of faith, their relationship with others, and how they can take what they are passionate about and create a more just and loving world. The following students have been chosen by their teachers for their awards, as they have not only excelled academically, but also embody the spirit of a particular course. And now I present the Spiritual Life Awards. For Faith and Morality, Katie Homrig. Living the Scriptures, Sophia Friss. Women in Relationships, Desea Bond. Social Justice, Alexa Nielsen. Capstone Project Hallmarks in Action, Emma Trainer. Senior Synthesis, Camelot Ayung. Senior Seminar, Carmela Zumat. Thank you, Ms. Jobin. Visual and Performing Arts, Mrs. Abby Alger. Good evening. Thank you for joining us today. I am Miss Alger. I am the Visual and Performing Arts Chair at Notre Dame. If history has taught us anything, it is that beautiful things can come out of times of adversity. I believe that art is one of the best examples of this. The Renaissance art movement was follow, followed the bubonic plague. The French Revolution 
gave birth to the realism art movement. Dadaism stemmed from the brutality of World War I. Today, during our current COVID-19 pandemic, I have seen marvelous works of art coming from the students here at Notre Dame. Our students have found ways to celebrate and create beautiful art, not just despite of, but because of our current challenges. These students have dug down deep and put their souls into creating art this year. And we are here today to celebrate them. Congratulations to all of our freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors who are receiving awards this evening. The Visual and Performing Arts Department recognizes one student of excellence for each subject area. So I will begin with art. For outstanding achievement in art, the award goes to Charlotte Sullivan. Outstanding achievement in graphic design goes to Madeline Berry. Outstanding achievement in photography is awarded to Georgia Fox. Outstanding achievement in sculpture goes to Annette Henderson. Outstanding achievement in advanced placement art history goes to Gabrielle Wiley Cheney. Outstanding achievement in chorus goes to Isabella Hildebrand Vashi. Outstanding achievement in dance goes to Channing Tanner and Emily Bergholm. Outstanding achievement in AP Studio is awarded to Yerbilia Vaish. Outstanding achievement in video production goes to Jolie Orban. Congratulations to these outstanding artists. Thank you, Mrs. Alger. Representing world languages, Ms. Catherine Licht. Hello, I'm Ms. Licht. I'm here to present the awards for the World Language Department. Mastery of a second language is a demanding, eye-opening, and exciting process. Our students discover new cultures and are able to communicate with more people around them. The following young women have shown excellence in their language classes. They have been successful in their daily coursework, have fully participated in classroom discussions, and have shown that they are lifelong language learners who challenge themselves to speak the language outside of the classroom. On behalf of the World Language Department, I am proud to present the following awards. The Spanish Language Outstanding Achievement Award goes to Ellie Rao. Congratulations. The Spanish Language Department Award goes to Maya Madera. Congratulations. The French Language Outstanding Achievement Award goes to Amanda Tan. Congratulations. The French Language Department Award goes to Christine Nieswander. Congratulations. The American Sign Language Outstanding Achievement Award goes to Isabel Hildebrand Vecchia. Congratulations. The American Sign Language Department Award goes to Kylie Hain. Congratulations. The Trilingual Award goes to students who have fulfilled the high school requirement of at least two years in a world language and have taken on the extra challenge of learning a second world language while at Notre Dame. This year, we have one student who will receive the Trilingual Award. This year, it goes to Mallory Barnes, who took Spanish and American Sign Language. Congrats! The National French Contest Le Grand Concours Award goes to French students who entered the contest from all over the 50 U.S. states and abroad. Three of our NDB students ranked in the 90th percentile in the Silver Award category of the National French Contest. 
congratulations. In French too, Claire Felton received the silver award. In French three honors, Catherine Malman received the silver award as well. And finally, Kristen Refrerzo received the silver award. In addition, there are six NDB students who earned honorable mentions in this contest. Congratulations to them. In French 1, we have Ava Nakumaram, as well as Isabel Steglinski. In French 2, Salma Galal, as well as Genevieve Klein. Angela Rosenthal and Linnea Weaver. And now I would like to welcome Mr. Jason Levine. Thank you, Ms. Licht. Tri School Awards. Many of our young women participate in tri school classes, either at Unipero Sarah High School or Mercy High School Burlingame. Teachers on our tri-school campuses also want to recognize the energy, the diligence, and achievements of our Notre Dame students. The following students have earned academic recognition in their tri-school classes based on consistent achievement as well as significant contributions to their class and the learning environment. For Mandarin at Unipero Sarah High School, Ariel Lucas, and Kristen Ja. For German at Unipero Sarah High School, Catherine Homrig and Helena Morel. We now move on to recognize Honor Society members since we have so many talented young women at NDB and the list of honorees is quite long. Names will be displayed as I read the description of each society. Honor Roll and Billiard Scholars. The gold cords are worn by our California Scholarship Federation lifetime members. California Scholarship Federation confers life membership status to those students who have been members at least four of six semesters, not including ninth grade, and is a member at the time of graduation. Life members are eligible for scholarships from colleges and universities in California and other states. Isabella Alangian, Andrea Aquino, Razan Asmar, Genevieve Klein, Sachi Bopadakar, Kristen Carpio, Miranda Chan, Suzanne Aletta Chen, Paige Clark, Mabry Cliff, Alexandra Compton, Faith Conray, Natalie Cross, Abigail D'Amelio, Ashley Edison, Zoe Enders, Alyssa Enriquez, Lauren Gonzalez, Dominique Gradage, Julia Granucci, Maya Hart, Jetong Jenny Ha, Tori Judy, Amelia Kyle, Leah Ladd, Caitlin Lopez, Isabella Love, Kristen Martinez. Lucien Nash. Emma Nolte. Margaret O'Brien. Kylie O'Donohue. Ashlyn O'Reardon. Alexa Parik. Olivia Para. Ailish Reed. Julia Roach. Alea San Juan, Anna Sanguinetti, Sophia Schnabel, 
Rachel Schoenfeldt, Sarah Simmons, Jessica Tablante, Tiffany Say, Aria Tumaluri, Elizabeth Weishar, CU Kate G, Anki Angel Zhu. The National French Honor Society is sponsored by the American Association of Teachers of French, is a nationally recognized honor society for excellent high school students enrolled in French. The purpose of the society is to recognize high achievement of high school students in the French language and to promote a continuing interest in French and francophone studies. Members are inducted in sophomore year if they have A's in French and an overall B average in other subjects. Graduating seniors receive FHS cords at graduation. Together with the French club, FHS members organize school-wide events that promote and raise awareness of the French language and culture. Alex Cuoto, Salma Galal, Genevieve Klein, Karis Maye, Christine Niswander, Kate O'Connor, Linnea Weaver, Katie Malman, Kristen Rifuerzo, Amanda Tam, Emma Boyd, Isabella Alangian, Genevieve Benze, Dominique Gradich, Aria Tumaluri, National Honor Society. The blue cords are worn by graduating members of the National Honor Society. NHS is the nation's premier organization established to recognize outstanding high school students. More than just honor roll, NHS serves to honor those students who have demonstrated excellence in the areas of scholarship, leadership, service, and character. The students go through an extensive application process that asks them to demonstrate strong participation in all four areas. The applications are then reviewed by a panel of Notre Dame adults that include teachers and administrators. This is designed to ensure that our NHS members are the best ambassadors for both the National Honor Society and Notre Dame. Every year, new members are inducted into the Notre Dame chapter for NHS at a spring ceremony. Andrea Aquino, Gabrielle Arceo, Rene D'Archangelis, Peyton Daly, Lauren Fitzgerald, Annie Guillot, Kaylee Hain, Maya Hart, Isabella Hildebrand Vecchia, Ashley Lau, Catherine McGuire, Kaylee Murad, Christine Niswander, Ellie Rao, Mackenzie Reese, Katie Spencer, Ashna Tumaluri. Graduating members of Mu Alpha Theta Math Honor Society are distinguished by their baby blue and gold cords. The Mu Alpha Theta Honor Society was newly formed at our school by Venetia Pronsos for the purposes of fostering interest, developing strong scholarship, and promoting the enjoyment of mathematics. Students must have completed pre-calculus or pre-calculus honors and be enrolled in calculus, AP calculus, AB, AP calculus, BC, or AP statistics, and have an overall GPA of 3.0 and an overall math GPA of 3.0. In addition, students are encouraged to peer tutor high school students at least five hours per semester. Isabella Alangian, Gabrielle Arceo, Razan Asmar, Grace Baldwin, Kristen Carpio, Faith Conry, Natalie Cross, Alyssa Enriquez, Laia Fowler, Annie Guillot, Jitong Jenny He, Brooke Horvai, Leah Ladd, Ashley Lau, Riki Lee, 
Nithya Mani, Kristen Martinez, Margaret O'Brien, Olivia Pera, Chloe Powell, Brinda Ramanathan, Kiki Ruan, Alex Salise, Alea San Juan, Hannah Saperstein, Sophia Schnabel, Sarah Simmons, Mia Sirocco, Hadley Stevick, Haley Stewart, Tiffany Say, Aria Tumaluri, Ellen Weitzner, Madeline Witt. Graduating Tri-School Music Honor Society members are distinguished by pink cords. Tri-M is a program of the National Association for Music Education that focuses on creating future leaders in music education and music advocacy. Tri-M Honor students encompass the following, high performance and musicianship, academic achievement, community service, and a person of good character. Each of these girls have been enrolled in a school-sponsored music ensemble and or class for at least one semester and or studies privately outside of Notre Dame. They have maintained at least a B average in music courses and at least a C grade average in other academic subjects. They demonstrate leadership, service, and character in all activities. And finally, there is an audition process to demonstrate musicianship skills and mastery of instrument. Genevieve Benzi, Kristen Carpio, Adriana DeCorpo, Satine Fortenbach, Lucy Nash, Caitlin Stutt, We are thrilled to announce the very first Notre Dame High School Belmont group of 14 inductees into the American Sign Language Honor Society, ASLHS. The students worked very hard in the ASL 3 Honors class this year, gaining the ultimate American Sign Language experience through media literacy journals, deaf culture readings, ASL Deaf Culture Projects, and much more. The students listed were honored and formally inducted into the ASLHS through a Zoom ceremony, April 28th. Junior inductees, Kaylin Baldenegro, Samantha Fisher, Juliana Kiesel, Ava Loch, Lila McKenna, Brenda Ramanathan, Vicky Samaras, Emma Wiley, Senior Inductees, Lila McKenna, Abigail D'Amelio, Alejandra Fernandez, Abigail Miller, Margaret O'Brien, Ailish Reed. Tonight we acknowledge our graduating Honor Society members. Several of the Honor Society graduates also receive a pin and a seal of distinction will appear on the diplomas of CSF and NHS honorees. The cords and pins will be worn at the formal events tied to graduation, including our prayer service, class day, and graduation. Honor Roll Society. I would also like to acknowledge our graduating seniors who have earned honor roll and billiard scholars status for at least five of their eight semesters here at Notre Dame. We have two honor roll distinctions, honor roll and billiard scholars. To earn honor roll status, students earn a weighted semester GPA of at least 3.5. Billiard scholar status is awarded to students who earn weighted semester GPAs of at least 3.8. The names of the students who have earned honors are listed here and will also be noted in the graduation program. Mia Adao, Isabella Alangian, Razan Asmar, 
Monica Bach, Victoria Bartels, Genevieve Benzi, Sachi Bopatakar, Kristen Carpio, Miranda Chan, Zhushuan Aleta Chen, Paige Clark, Mabry Cliff, Alexandra Compton, Faith Conry, Natalie Cross, Abigail D'Amelio, Neve Dandekar, Adriana DeCorpo, Ashley Edison, Zoe Enders, Alyssa Enriquez, Ava Finn, Emily Fletcher, Laya Fowler, Lauren Gonzalez, Julia Granucci, Annie Guillot, Maya Hart, Jitong Jenny He, Paige Ivansich, Tori Judy, Annika Kim, Charlotte King, Sophia Kostanzik, Amelia Kyle, Leah Ladd, Ricky Lee, Kaylin Lopez, Isabella Love, Kristen Martinez, Lauren Massey, Audrey McGannum, Kaylee Murad, Lucien Nash, Emma Nolte, Margaret O'Brien, Kylie O'Donohue, Ashlyn O'Reardon, Alexa Parikh, Ashley Pelsner, Olivia Para, Madeline Perry, Chloe Powell, Ailish Reed, Sophie Ring, Julia Roach, Alea San Juan, Anna Sanguinetti, Audrey Sanguinetti, Kelly Shackle, Sophia Schnabel, Rachel Schoenfeld, Sarah Simmons, Mia Sirocco, Samantha Sutter, Jessica Tablante, Tiffany Tse, Aria Tumaluri, Armila Vaish, Alessandro Vano, Daisy Villanueva, Ellen Weixner, Elizabeth Weishar, Yajing Layla Zhang, Anki Angel Zhu, Siu Kate Ji, Carmela Zumat. And now I would like to call on Dr. Linda Kern. Grateful anonymous donors established the Frank Ryerson Scholarship to honor Mr. Ryerson's legacy of excellent teaching and leadership. Mr. Ryerson's tenure here at Notre Dame was from 1995 to 2013, where he held positions as an English and visual and performing arts teacher, director of student activities, and English department chairperson. The Frank Ryerson Scholarship Fund was established to help a Notre Dame student pursue her college and career goals through her preparation at NDB. Mr. Ryerson died in 2017, but prior to his death, he shared his own thoughts and hopes about this scholarship. I will read his words here. This scholarship goes to a student who loves NDB the way I and so many I have taught have loved it. NDB was an enormous gift to me, presenting me with so many opportunities to start new programs and to connect with many wonderful young women. It is my hope that this scholarship will make it possible for any student who sincerely wishes to be here, enter and remain at NDB if she is willing to do the work and contribute to the life of the community. I am delighted to congratulate Carla Aguilar as this year's recipient of the Frank Ryerson Scholarship. Congratulations, Carla. Students who enter our international program are those who leave their families and come to America to study. Imagine yourself, a teenager, going to a foreign country to study and immerse yourself into the culture, leaving behind your family and all that is so familiar to you. All of our international students and their families deserve high praise for having the courage to embark on such a journey. The International Student Program is pleased tonight to present an international student who 
has exhibited exceptional performance in academics. The International Student Academic Award is presented to a graduating international senior who has earned the highest GPA as a member of the International Student Program. The recipient of this award has exhibited outstanding academic performance in all areas and has modeled rigor, extreme diligence, and commitment to the academic program. We are so proud of this recipient who is a very positive and highly spirited young lady. The International Student Program is pleased to announce the recipient of this academic award, Aletta Chen. Congratulations, Aletta. I would now like to call on Mr. Jason Levine. And now I would like to call on our interim head of school, Dr. Linda Kern. It is my great honor to present our next award, the Michelle Micheletti Award. Michelle Micheletti, a member of the class of 1996, distinguished herself in academics, co-curricular activities, visual and performing arts, community service, and multiple leadership roles. On October 31st, 1997, during her sophomore year at MIT, Michelle lost her life as she attempted to cross a four lane drive in front of her dorm. In their daughter's memory, her parents established memorial scholarship funds at Junior State of America and Notre Dame High School. They also funded our World Language Laboratory. The Michelle Micheletti Award honors a graduating senior who has maintained a four-year record of academic achievement, leadership, and service. We are very honored to present the Michelle Micheletti Memorial Award to Kristen Carpio, an extraordinary young woman who exemplifies a passion and love of learning. Kristen will be attending the University of California, Berkeley next year. Congratulations, Kristen. Notre Dame Belmont's Head of School Award honors a graduating senior for her exemplary role modeling academic achievement and generous participation in the community during her four years at Notre Dame. This special award is a true reflection of Notre Dame's hallmarks, which describe the essential characteristics, values, and activities of a Notre Dame student. Hallmark One captures the true essence of this award. We believe, even in the midst of today's reality, that God is good, and we stand firm in our commitment to honor that goodness in ourselves, in others, and in our world. It is my great honor to give this year's award to Camelot Young, a remarkable young woman who has been a steady contributor to Notre Dame. The following adjectives are used by teachers and staff members to describe Camelot. Thoughtful, dedicated, responsible, reliable, kind, caring, and strong. One staff member who has watched Camelot grow over the last four years shared the following. Camelot has been a dedicated member of our community even before she became a student here. Camelot participated in many volleyball camps at NDB while she was still in middle school. She was always very passionate about volleyball and never gave up improving her game. Even though she was not on the team, she attended every volleyball game and cheered on her classmates, even traveling to away playoff games. Her spirit, passion, and dedication has been appreciated by all the players and coaches who could always count on her being there to cheer them on. Camelot will be attending University of British Columbia this fall.
The Notre Dame Salutatorian is selected during the spring semester from the senior class. This selection is based on the following factors. First, a weighted internal GPA, which takes into account any honors and advanced placement classes that have been taken. Second, community service hours. And third, leadership positions held during her time at NDB. In addition, the student selected as salutatorian embodies the core values of a Notre Dame student. Faith in the good God, respect for the dignity and potential of each person, living and working for peace and justice, and service to others. This year, we are pleased to announce two salutatorians, Margaret O'Brien and Ashlyn O'Reardon. Congratulations, Maggie and Ashlyn, and good luck next year at Cal Berkeley and the University of Washington, respectively. The Notre Dame Belmont Valedictorian is the senior with the highest cumulative GPA during the spring semester of her senior year. This award is based on a weighted internal GPA, which takes into account any honors and advanced placement classes that have been taken. The student needs to have completed at least six of her eight semesters of core classes at Notre Dame Belmont and may not have any grades below a C minus during any grading period. This year, we are pleased to announce a double valedictorian, Genevieve Benzi and Sachi Bopardikar. Congratulations. Genevieve and Sachi represent the best of a Notre Dame education. A young woman with a passion for learning along with a care and commitment for others. We are so proud of you, Genevieve and Sachi. And I want to let you all know that they will both be attending UCLA in the fall. Again, congratulations. Over 1.6 million students took the preliminary SAT National Merit Scholarship Qualifying Test in October of 2020 and January 2021. Of those, approximately 34,000 commended students have been recognized for their exceptional academic promise, having placed among the top 5%. We are pleased to announce the following National Merit Commended Students at Notre Dame Belmont, Sachi Bopardikar and Anika Kim. Congratulations. Sachi will be attending UCLA and Anika will be attending Northeastern University in the fall. I would now like to call on Mr. Jason Levine to announce the St. Julie Billiard Awards. Thank you, Dr. Kern. The St. Julie Billiard Awards. St. Julie Billiard, foundress of the Sisters of Notre Dame, Dana Murr, was a visionary religious educator in early 19th century France and Belgium. In establishing her schools, St. Julie continually reminded her sisters of their primary mission, teach them whatever is necessary to equip them for life. The St. Julie Billiard Awards are our top academic awards. They are given to outstanding seniors who have demonstrated consistent academic excellence throughout their high school career. These awards reflect a commitment to the philosophy and mission of Notre Dame High School, as well as a unique demonstration of the hallmarks of a Notre Dame learning community. There are two categories. The first category is the Achievement Award for outstanding work in each specific subject area. The second category is the Scholar Award given for achievement in the overarching disciplines of humanities, math, and science, and visual and performing arts. Both categories also come with a monetary gift. I am pleased to announce the following recipients of the St. Julie Billiard Awards. 
for outstanding achievement in each discipline, the following students are awarded the St. Julie Billiard Achievement Award. English, Carmela Zumat. Mathematics, Kaylee Murad. Life Science, Sophia Schnabel. Physical Science, Abigail D'Amelio. Social Science, Razan Asmar. Spiritual Life, Mia Adao. Visual Arts, Ermila Vaish. Performing Arts, Emily Fletcher. World Languages, Spanish, Chloe Powell. World Languages, ASL, Olivia Pera. This year, the St. Julie Billiard Scholar plaques are awarded in the following areas. For Humanities, Annika Kim. For Math and Science, Elizabeth Weishar. For Visual and Performing Arts, Isabella Alangian. Closing remarks and congratulations. On behalf of the Notre Dame faculty and staff, it is a pleasure for me to congratulate all of our students representing the classes of 2021, 2022, 2023, and 2024 for their academic achievements. We are proud of all of you for such consistent and dedicated efforts this year. At Notre Dame, we focus on teaching our students how to be critical thinkers. We encourage them to take risks and to test their ideas and thoughts in an environment of academic excellence and mutual respect. Whether they have been acknowledged for one award or received several, their achievement is equally notable. During the year, we witness each student grow as a learner and achieve new heights. These young women sitting with you tonight represent what it means to have a Notre Dame education. They have been honored this evening for their strong intellect, active faith, and compassionate leadership. Our students are living examples of the Notre Dame hallmarks. We recognize that Notre Dame is but one stop along the way, but know that these young women will not stop learning, growing, caring, or advocating. The vision of St. Julie Billiard grows in each of them and will blossom as they continue on their journey. For that, we thank you, ladies. You are an excellent example to all those that you meet and are honored to have you represent Notre Dame. Parents and guardians, we would be remiss if we did not also thank you. You are your children's first teachers. Your daughters did not come to us as blank slates. We value the partnership that we have in educating and forming your daughters into the young women who will rightly take their place as leaders in the 21st century. We know that they will be prepared to do so and prepared to make a difference because of their years here. We thank you for your trust in us and your unwavering commitment to providing your daughters with a Notre Dame education. Ladies, please join me in thanking your parents for always believing in what you could accomplish. And so parents, friends, and family, please join me once again in congratulating all of our award recipients, especially our graduating seniors. I thank everybody for watching tonight. Have a great summer. Go Tigers! I can't confront you. I never could do that which might hurt you. To try and be cool. When I say.